can. I don't know where I can or not, Bob. You help me if I can. You just sing out. Help me. saying one by myself. Save those sinners. I'm thrilled. 
All right, turn your Bibles to the book of Isaiah, chapter number 9. Philippians chapter number 2. We'll read from two places. Isaiah 9, we'll read two verses there, 6 and 7, and read a little over in Philippians chapter 2. <clears throat> the Lord is good, and blessed is the man that trusteth in him. How good he is. You found a place now? Verse number six. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders, and, he should, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor of the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it, to establish it with just, judgment and judge, justice. From henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Now over in uh, Philippians chapter 2. We will start reading with verse 6. Who being the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But made himself of no reputation took upon himself the form of a servant was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I'm thinking about verse 9 for our text. Wherefore God's also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. I'll preach to a little while, death the Lord will help me, on the name above every name. The name that's above every name. Now there's many titles given to him, the word of God, and uh, so we'll just say a word or two about this, get right out and preach it. But uh, the Bible said in Matthew 1, it said, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, and said, You are call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Again, the Bible said in the same chapter, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Thank God for that name. John was baptizing one day in the river of Jordan. He looked out across the plains. And uh, John saw Jesus walking down through there. He said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. He is called the Lamb of God. Yeah. The Lord asked the disciples, Whom do men say that I am? Then he said, Who do you say that I am? Yeah. And Simon said, Thou art the Christ. Not one of them now, but the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we find many titles in the Bible about him. And uh, the name that's above every name. He's a prophet of all prophets, <laughs> priest of all priests, yeah. and king of all kings. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. The Bible said in Acts, the Lord God, Moses speaking, the Lord God shall raise up a prophet like unto me, him shall you hear. He's called a prophet there. Over in Hebrews, the Bible said, but this man, after it offered one sacrifice for sin forever, sat out on the right hand of the throne of God. You know a priest offers sacrifice, he is called a priest. Then in Revelation 19, 
when he came out of when he comes out of heaven riding on that white stallion the armies of heaven follow him on white horses the bible said his name will be king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah so he's the prophet of all prophet priest of all priests he's the king of all kings now look back over in isaiah where i read first the bible said unto us a child is born but unto us the son is given and said the government shall be upon his shoulder that hadn't happened yet that hadn't been fulfilled yet but thank God one day that will be fulfilled you say when will that happen when the millennial sets in thank God he'll sit on the throne a time of peace you're talking about a, you're talking about a time of peace it'll be a time of peace and uh, here, when the government's upon his shoulder, can you imagine that? Come on. There'll be no more crooked politics. Right, right, right. Hallelujah for that. Yes, sir. That's enough to make you shout about just about it. Yeah. I get so sick and tired about this. You know, they're investigating everybody and whoever they investigate, somebody's investigating them and they are come behind them investigating them and uh, just like everybody's crooks, a lot of more crooks, so don't tell them I said. But anyhow, and, uh, but I'll tell you, thank God, when the government's up on his shoulder, there'll be a time of peace. Amen. Time of peace. No more sorrow, no more trouble, no more sin, no more disappointment. He'll be Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. The government will be upon his shoulder. But watch this. We find some things over there in that verse that I'll talk a little bit about. After it said the government be upon his shoulder, it said his name shall be called Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. You say, what does that mean? I don't know all the meaning of it. But uh, here's one thing it means. It means it's so extraordinary that it's hard for the human mind to grasp right. how wonderful it is. Right. That's him. Yeah. That's him. That's the one I'm preaching about. Yeah. Our feeble mind cannot get a hold of how wonderful he really is. Amen. Thank God. His name will be called Wonderful. The Bible said from the rising of the sun to the going down the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. You'll never praise him too much. We don't praise him enough. That's right. Yes, sir. I thought about I thought about what this group said. I'm not sure who it was that said it, but anyhow in John chapter 10. The people said uh, John did no miracle, but said everything John said about this man's true. Yep. Yeah. Man. He couldn't get it all told. Right. Right. That's how wonderful he is. That's right. yes, and uh, I know uh, that'll kind of mess up some of them faith healers and, and ah. things like that. Yeah. Miracle workers, if they read that verse over there, I don't know how they'd explain it. The Bible said that John was the greatest man that's ever born beside Jesus himself. And the Bible said John did no miracle. I don't know what they'd say about that. But it said everything John said about this man is true. Right. Hey. And more. Amen. Right. But anyhow, Solomon said he's the rose of Sharon. Hey. Says it's a lily of the valley. Yeah. John said he's a bright and morning star. Yes, sir. He's wonderful. Job said he's my daysman. <laughs> he said, though the skin worm devour this flesh or this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Yeah. <laughs> He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. <laughs> Sound like Job was really anchored down, don't right, right. He said, I know my Redeemer lover. In the latter day, he'll stand upon the earth. Yep. And uh, David said, such knowledge is too great for me. I can't attain to it. I can't understand it. I can't get a hold of it. And that's what he's talking about. He's so wonderful. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, that's over in Psalm 139, I believe it is. The Bible said, Oh, the depths and riches, both of wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable is judgment, and said his ways are past finding out. Amen. We'll never be able to find out all the ways of God. You're right there. Who was it the other time? Maybe Brother Stuff, somebody talked about his ways is higher than our ways as the heavens is above the earth. And we'll never be able to figure all that out. Amen. The disciples appeared unto or the Lord appeared unto the disciples in the, one day and Thomas went with them and they told him, said, we saw the Lord. And they probably tried to explain to him how wonderful it was seeing the Lord. And Thomas said, I'm not going to believe. Let's see myself. And eight days later, you know how much that is, don't you? They was gathered on the first day of the week and eight days later to be the first day of the next week. The reason Thomas missed the blessing, he missed church. <laughs> Amen. But eight days later, this gathered together. The Lord knows who's in the crowd that needs it. Yeah. He didn't say nothing to them other disciples don't find. He just said, Thomas, come fill up and see it's me. Uh-huh. And uh, be not fearless, but believe him. I don't know if he fell up. I don't think he did. But the Bible, he said, My Lord and my God. Hallelujah. Yes. And I'm proud to say, tell you today, he's my Lord. My yes. God. Yes. Praise God. Well, they a lot of people want him to be God. They how much want him to be Lord of their life. Come on. But I want him to be Lord of my life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right, I've never heard, I don't do that sometimes, but I sure want him to. <laughs> I'm talking about how wonderful it is. Let me tell you this, and I'll go on maybe the next point. But you know, the uh, Queen of Sheba, she had heard about the, all the wisdom of Solomon, how great he was, and how God blessed him, all the riches he had, and wisdom, he could answer any question, all this kind of stuff. And she decided she'd go see about Solomon. And she got a train together, fix, fixed everything up, and made the journey over to see Solomon, see how it was. And the Bible said when she got over there and saw how great he was, she had no more spirit left in her. And she said, Solomon, I heard a lot of great things about you over in my country. But said when I got over here and saw and heard everything, she said the hive's not been told me. That's what we're going to have to say. Oh, it's good to serve the Lord. It's good to experience the presence of God. Nothing like it. Best thing this side of heaven. But I'll tell you, we can say when we reach the end of the journey, we had not so half of it. Amen. Amen, preacher. You say, how can you get a hold of that? Bible said, oh, taste and see the Lord's good. Yeah. Yeah. Won't you just taste today? If you're not saved, right. won't you just taste and see how good the Lord is? Right. His name should be called Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. And then the Bible said His name will be called Counselor. Uh-huh. That's one that gives advice. Yes, sir. Scott, he's going to give me a whole lot of advice down through the years. Yes, sir. I wouldn't have been here if he hadn't had him right. for a counselor. Amen. I've been gone. Yes, Whoa, hallelujah. But I'm proud, thank God, the counselor is living down on the inside. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I'm weak, he give me strength. When I'm sick, he'll lift me up. When I can't find the way, thank God he'll show me the way. Amen. He's a God. I don't understand. Now, I'm not. I'm not just. I'm not being hard. And there's some cases that people does need some good counsel. That is, that is Christian counselor. Don't just go to anybody because they got a sign over the door. Make sure somebody knows something about this Bible, knows something about God. That kind of counsel. Be. I. I. I'd, I'd say start. I'm not a counselor. I don't know how to do that. And I know preachers are supposed to kind of counsel people, but I. I'm not much at it. But uh, I want to say one thing. I never have understood why that people run too much to counselors. That is to say, people, if you've got the counselor living down on the inside. Amen. The real counselor's living down on the inside of us. It's Amen. Yes, sir. And uh, 
Thank God I'm proud that he's alive forevermore and he's living up on the inside. I'm proud when I'm hungry, he feeds me. When I'm thirsty, give me drink. When I'm down, he lifts me up. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing like being saved and knowing the Lord. Amen. I, I came to get all of this in. I just want to say something right here. When he was 12 years old, you know, you know the story. How they went up to the temple, they was going back and they got lost from him. The parents did. They turned around and went back looking for him. And the uh, Bible says he's up out in the temple with the lawyers, the doctors, and asking them questions, answering their questions at 12 years old. Mm, you're right. He's a counselor of all counselors. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> And he's not a, he's our ad, advocate. Advocate. I believe that's right. Yeah. Over in John 2. Believe it. My little children, I would that you sin not. Now listen. But if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Right. Jesus Christ the righteous. Yes. And he's the propitiation for our sin, not for ours only, but the sins of the whole world. Amen. And I learned a long time ago, when I sin and do wrong, I know what to do about it. Yes. I know where to go. Right. I don't have to go to the Pope. I don't have to go to the preacher. I don't even have to come over to church. It's still a waste of time. Lamar, you sing a song every time I do a deed I shouldn't do, every time I say a word I shouldn't say. There's still a way somewhere in prayer. Yeah. So I'm proud the Lord fixed it that way. He pleads our case before the Heavenly Father. Amen. There's one God, one mediator between God and man, and that's the man Christ Jesus. Amen. There's only one way to get to God, and that's through this name I'm preaching about today. Amen. Only way to get there. Right. Not a half dozen way, that's the only way to get there. And then the Bible said his name. He'd be called the mighty God. He was mighty in the creation, wasn't he? This will blow our mind. And you just even try and think about this. But he made everything that's made in six days. We, can't, we just have to read that and believe it. That's all the world we can do. Just read that and believe it. And I read it one day, and I believed it ever since. Yes, sir. Amen. That's all Amen. But we can't explain it. We don't know. We can't, we can't get a hold of that. He's so mighty. Right. But he is mighty in the creation. Right. He's mighty to save sinners, thank God. Yes. She sang that song today. God saves old sinners. Yes. I'm proud he's still saving sinners. Right. He'll always save sinners till the trumpet sounds. And we're yes. called out of here. Praise God right. for that. He's great in his birth. He's got the whole wide world in his hand. Yes. There's never been a birth like his. And I don't have time to preach about that maybe some other time. But I don't have time to preach like that, about that. And we're fixing to celebrate uh, the birth of Christ and, and things like that. And uh, something more more will be said about that probably tonight. But he's great in his birth. Never been a birth like it. Right. But he's great in his life. Yes, sir. While walking down here on earth. Earthly life, what I'm talking about now. He, he could calm the storm. So that storm be raging. And people be scared to death. And all I had to do, call him. Yeah. And he calmed that storm. Yeah. Just like that. Amen. Just calm the storm. Raise the dead. Got Lazarus up out of that grave. You're right. A couple of more he raised from the dead. He could feed the 5,000. And, uh, I mean, you ain't been able to figure it out now, have we? Nope. A lot of things we can't figure out. They took them little loaves and fishes and break them. And some say when he'd break it, just grow out a little more. I don't know how all that worked. I don't know how all it worked. I just know that it took them loaves and, yeah. and uh, fishes and fed 5,000 men besides women and children. And I know something else. They had 12 baskets left over when they got back. Yeah. I don't understand that, but I believe it. That's right. Just believe what the Bible said about it. 
<laughs> We'd be a lot better off if we just believe the Bible. Don't you? You're right there. And uh, no wonder the Bible said he's a mighty God. Yeah. It's beyond our imagination what he can do and what he does do. He's great in his death. You say they put him to death? No. He gave his life. Yes. There you go. He said, No man takes my life from me. I let down myself. I have power to let down. I have power to take it again. Amen. And so uh, he's great in his death. <laughs> you say, How great? Well, I heard it said one time that, well, well I, I know this to be a fact, but anyhow, he had an earthly mother, you know, so he understood the ways of man. Right. He had a heavenly father, so he understood the ways of God. And so it said that uh, when he died on the cross, he reached up to God with one hand, man with the other hand, and brought us together at Calvary. Amen. Made reconciliation for the people. And he reconciled us to God through his death on the cross. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the Bible don't tell us exactly what I said there. It happened that way, but I, I think it's a pretty good saying. I believe it helped us to understand. He understood God's ways, so he reached for God. He understood man's ways, and he brought us to God. Yes. That's the only way we had to get to God. Amen. Amen. We were separated from God. We couldn't right. get to God. And uh, so uh, he's mighty, mighty, Amen. mighty in his death. Victorious in his resurrection. I am he that lived and was dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore. Amen. Have the keys of hell and of death. I'll hurry and quit. I'll give you one more verse about this. About the mighty God. The Bible said the men of men will rise up judge of this generation condemn it. Because they repented preaching, jo preaching of Jonah. And it said a greater Jonah's here. Yeah. When the south rise up and condemn this generation because she came of the most far church to the wisdom of Solomon. Behold a greater than Solomon's here. Yeah. Who is it? This name that's above every name. Hey. The name that's above every name. Yes. And then uh, his name will be the Everlasting Father. Everlasting. He's a, the great I am in the Old Testament. That's what it said. Yes, sir. And uh, the great I am. Moses said, who didn't I tell him sent me? He said, tell him I am sent you. And how to get the job done. <laughs> yeah. So he is everlasting. Right. Everlasting, everlasting Father. It's been said that he never did write a book, never did own a home, never did travel far, never held a position in this life while he's on earth. But his coming yes, he affected more people and changed more things than any event that's ever happened. Amen. Ever. Right. Ever. He's the everlasting father. And... Uh, wow. The Bible said, from everlasting to everlasting, thy God. Yes. I believe this is Psalm chapter 90. From everlasting to everlasting, thy God. So since he's from everlasting to everlasting, if our faith's in him, guess what? We have an everlasting hope. Yeah. Not just till we get away from God, not till we get cold Come and on. different. Come on. We've got an everlasting hope. Yes, amen. A lively hope, thank God. A living hope. Amen. So he's everlasting. We, we'll, Brother Sam used to be like, Brother Sam used to say, we're just going to live as long as God lives. <laughs> he said, don't get excited now. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't get too excited. We're just going to live as long as God lives. That's right. Amen. <laughs> well, that's what it is. That's what it is. Right, right. be honest but. I'm going to quit. One more thing. His name will be called Prince of Peace. Yes. Yes. Thank God for that Prince of Peace. Amen. You know what a prince is? Male member of a royal family. That's what Jesus was, right? Yes. And so he's the, he's the Prince of Peace. He came to give, send peace. And... Uh, to bring peace to the heart of man. Amen. 
Amen. Well, it's trouble heart, and I'm proud he can bring peace to that heart. Amen. Speak peace to you today. The Spirit is up there with our spirit that we are. We are the children of God. And it talks about that peace of God, past all understanding, will keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus our Lord. And uh, so uh, I'll quit right there. I preach long enough. But uh, the name that's above every name. And he's coming back to get us one day after a while. Now, I remember they used to sing that song, but until then, my heart will go on singing. Right. Until then, with joy I carry on, until the day my eyes behold that city, until the day God calls me home. Amen. I want to keep pressing toward that mark, don't you? Yes, sir. And loving him a little more as the days go by. Amen. Loving people a little more as the days go by. And trying to help people. And what a blessing. What a blessing to know him as our Savior. Amen. I hope you know him. If you don't know him, sure it would be a good day to trust him as your Savior. I believe we'll sing a couple of verses song. Most of the time we don't, but I believe we will today. And You might not have peace in your heart, and you need that peace that only the Lord can give you. If you'll come up here to these altars, trust the Lord. We'd be glad to pray with you and help you the way we can. We're here to try to help you. And, uh,